Okay, hello Pisces. How you doing? This is Keep It Classy. I'm doing your weekly reading. You guys, please like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, subscribe. Thank you for stopping by, checking out my channel. Sit back, enjoy your reading. Again, this is your weekly, okay? So we're going to see what's going on in your energy. All right, sit back, enjoy the reading. I hope you get clarity. And something you need clarity on. Okay, Pisces energy, Holy Spirit. Show me what's going on in Pisces energy, please. Show me what's going on in Pisces energy. What is it Pisces needs to know? Show me what's going on in Pisces energy. Show me what's going on in Pisces energy. Okay. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. The Lovers. So you have Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Gemini on the board. The Tower, Scorpio energy. You have the Emperor, Aries. And you have the Hermit. Okay. There's some type of clarity. You're going to get some type of clarity concerning the air sign. Or this is you with air in your chart. And this clarity is going to cause some type of tower. With somebody that you're in love with. Somebody you see as your equal. Um, you may find out that they're giving their time, stability, and... You know, attentions to an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, you may find out that's why this person is isolating themselves from you, or your intuition could have already been telling you this. Um, you may have already been feeling like you've been being deceived um, through your intuition. Okay. Um, this is going to cause you a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain. Um, you're going to feel out a loss in this situation. Maybe this is going to cause a separation between you and this person. Or you're going to feel like you want to separate yourself from the situation. Clarify the Three of Swords and Pisces Energy. Clarify the Three of Swords and Pisces Energy. Two of Cups is here. Yeah, because this was your soulmate. This is going to cause you a lot of hurt, pain. You're going to feel out a loss because this is somebody you you committed yourself to. This was somebody you were in love with that you truly loved. This was your soulmate, your divine partner. I see the energy. Um... A strength card here, Leo energy. Okay, there's going to be some communication between you and this person. Um, you may be able to move forward with this person because there's going to be forgiveness needed here or... The moon card. Yeah, there's going to be the forgiveness needed here because this was a situation that was deceptive. Or this is you. Maybe you did this to this person. Maybe this could be you. 
you know, you're going to have to switch it how it resonates. Maybe they're going to gain clarity that you're giving your time, attention, and stability elsewhere. Because they may forgive you. They're going to communicate this with you. The secret is going to be communicated. Um, Leo, it's going to be some type of communication concerning the secret. The secret is going to be illuminated to this person. Leo energy here. <sighs> Three of Cups. They may forgive you. So you guys are going to reconcile. So there's going to be forgiveness here. There's going to be forgiveness here. If this was you that did this, this person is going to forgive you. They may have already knew something was going on, but this was... Or their intuition was showing them that you were trying to reconcile with someone. Something of this nature. Or there's going to be a victory here. This person is going to forgive you. If this was you that did this, they're going to forgive you. And you guys are going to move forward in a victory due to this secret that's going to come out. Due to you giving your time and attention elsewhere. Or you're going to forgive this person. You guys are going to reconcile. Ten of Cups, because this is who makes you happy. This is, you guys have a family foundation um this is just some type of karma that maybe you had to go through maybe you're going to realize this this was just some karma that was dealt with that you know this going to come and go but you guys are going to reconcile the devil is here um the devil is here there may be some addictions that need to be healed as well in this situation um, ten of wands there needs to be a burden release maybe somebody the lie needed to come out Maybe this lie needed to come out, you know, because you guys need to move forward in this family foundation. And this is a burden that's gone. This is a burden that's released. Because it, it would have caused toxicity in the in the um family foundation that you had with this person. So it had to come out. This is something nine of cups. Yeah, it had to come out so you could get a victory. You know, in the future with this person, you know? That's what I'm seeing here. So this is just something that needed to come out. This is some karma. It's going to come and go. Um, this is going to heal. You know, this is just some, some toxic energy that's going to be released. Pisces energy. Pisces energy. Yeah, who wants to live a lie, you know? Yeah. The nine of pentacles is here. Yeah, or this is this person is very obsessed over your person. But your person released this person, released this burden, so they can have a victory with you. Okay. Yeah, because they see themselves being abundant with you. They see you nurturing them. They see you giving them what they want, stability wise, and not this other person. Um, I see energy. Or this person, if they did this to you, they want your forgiveness because they kept the secret from you. They're going to want to reconcile with you because they don't want to lose the family foundation with you. Yeah, they're hoping the will turns in their favor due to them lying to you. You know, not because this person, they love you. They truly love you. So if this is, they don't want to lose a family foundation that they have with you if you have a family foundation with this person. Yeah. So this is the other person doing this to you. You're going to gain clarity on this. Queen of Cups, Scorpio energy here. Yeah, they love you. They're highly emotional over you. You're their fulfillment. You fulfill this person. 
Yeah, you give them whatever they want. You spoil this person. You know, they may have wanted to be single in the past, but they love you, you know? They may not show you, express to you that they love you. They may hide that part of it, how much they love you, but you truly fulfill this person. They have their eye on you. You give them everything they want. And they're going to want your forgiveness for hiding the secret from you, for deceiving you. And you guys are going to move forward in a victory in this situation. The world card, yeah. They don't want a cycle to end with you. They want a new beginning or they're going to end this cycle of deceiving you, lying to you, so they can have a new beginning with you. The Nine of Swords is here. Yeah. Yeah, they can't move forward without you, this person. They stay up at worrying about you, you know. They may stay up worrying about they're going to lose you because the Nine of Wands, they hold a lot of passion for you. There's nobody like you. There's nobody equal to you passionately, sexually. Um, they, they feel very comfortable with you. They don't feel comfortable with nobody else in the bedroom, you know, or passionately. Um, you build this person's confidence. You know, you make them feel confident where they're insecure. Um, Ten of Swords is here. They want a new beginning with you. Like, they want to end the betrayal. They're going to, you know, so they can have a new beginning with you. This person no longer wants to betray you. Okay? Or this is you. You may be feeling backstabbed and betrayed. Let me see this. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. This one was a tricky reading. But if this is not you, you know, if this is not your person, you know this, and you know it's you, then switch to Six of Cups. So this is somebody in the past. Somebody's going to gain clarity. Yeah, you're going to gain clarity concerning somebody in the past, somebody you're dealing with, in judgment, yeah. Yeah, you're going to be enlightened concerning somebody in the past. Is giving time, attention, stability elsewhere. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Yep, that's what it is. Somebody in your past. I mean, not your past. Some The person you're dealing with. Yeah, the person that you're dealing with, they're giving their time and attention to somebody in their past, a soulmate in their past. Okay, um, this is somebody that you, you could be married to this person or you're... Oh, they could be traveling to see this person. Yeah, they could be traveling to see this person. Seven of Wands. Or this could be somebody you want to marry, or that, or this person wants to marry your person, but your person could be fending them off. Yeah, your person could get a lot of attention, but they're 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 fending the, the attention off. Or maybe you're gonna find out that this other person is wanting your person's time, attention, and stability. They're trying to get your person's attention. Yeah, they. Yeah, they're offering. It's affection, sexual, you know. Or this is why your person is not giving you any affection. Because of this other person. So yeah, this is what's going on. You're going to gain clarity that somebody you're dealing with is giving time attention to somebody else. Okay. And it's, it's, it's an affection and evolved. And this is somebody you're either intended on marrying or somebody you're married to. Or this could be what, what's going on. This is why you're not getting any... I'm, I'm going to say this is why you're not getting any affection. If you're not getting any sexual affections from your person, that's why their time and attention is somewhere else. And I'm going to leave it at that. All right. I'm out, Pisces. I love you guys. Be good. This is your weekly.